Hello everyone, I'm Rick Edlund, and welcome to Innovations, the area's only television program devoted to advances in science and technology taking place throughout the St. Louis region. We're joining you today from the heart of St. Louis in Forest Park, which opened back in 1876. The park covers 1,293 acres and has been host to several significant events, including, of course, the 1904 World's Fair which showcased the world's newest technologies and the research leading to those innovations. Macular degeneration is the leading cause of blindness in adults over 50. And according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, an estimated 7.3 million people are at risk of vision loss from that disease. Angie Weidinger found a St. Louis company with a product that's challenging that number, and it comes in a small, all-natural vitamin. To a passerby, it looks like Margie Walker is sitting in an eye center waiting for her appointment. But in Margie's mind, she's hundreds of miles away from St. Louis on a southern tobacco farm. Mental transportation provided by this book. It's my time. It's my escape. It's the way I learn about things. It's, um, it's what I do. Margie hates to put down a good book. So imagine a medical condition that would prevent her from reading the words on any page. That's something that is very important to my quality of life, and I just could not imagine not being able to do that. The whites of the eyes are a little swollen. But Margie has an optical condition that limits the sight out of her right eye. And not long ago, a test during her eye exam revealed her other eye could be at risk for macular degeneration, a disease that gradually destroys a person's central vision and would make reading nearly impossible. The test is similar to the one many of you took when entering kindergarten to test your hearing. But instead of raising your hand when hearing the beep, in this test, you press a button when you see a flash of blue light. From the person's response time, an instrument can analyze their macular pigment optical density, or what some call your internal sunglasses, because it protects your sensitive macula from damaging blue light. Her score was low. It was a score of 24. So a score of 0.24 or below is considered high risk for macular degeneration. And at that point, we suggested that she increase consumption of what are called carotenoids. You can get that same kind of carotenoid called zeaxanthin from eating vegetables like kale, broccoli, peppers, and corn. The problem is you would have to eat a lot of them to build back up that protective pigment or internal sunglasses in your eyes. Just how much? Well, it would take not one, not two, but 20 ears of corn in one day. I do like to eat a lot of vegetables, but I'm not sure I'd get be able to get that many down. Instead of eating corn for every meal, Dr. Mulqueeny suggested Margie take an all-natural supplement called I Promise Restore, which costs about a dollar a day. There is the xanthan on the label and other products, uh, but often at very low doses, we really are interested in the high doses because we think that's where the real, real benefits are. Zia Vision founder Dennis Gearhart says studies are now showing that besides building back up your internal sunglasses to protect the eye from macular degeneration, the supplement can also help decrease light sensitivity. I noticed as I was doing the original experiments on myself that I wasn't light sensitive anymore. It turns out in healthy individuals it can affect things like glare, light sensitivity, uh, those kinds of phenomena, and those have value. Especially to professional drivers, pilots, and even baseball players. Research is ongoing with the University of Georgia baseball team to see how the supplement can improve players' reaction time, which could be helpful in fielding baseballs. But back to Margie. Remember, she just wants to be able to continue reading books. And according to Dr. Mulqueeny, this supplement seems to be helping with that. You'll recall Margie's first macular pigment test was 0.24. After taking zeaxanthin for two years, her score nearly tripled to 0.67. 80 to 85 percent of those who take the supplement see increased levels like Margie. And so that score then was very promising because if we can get a score above 0.4, Four, five. Her score was, I think, 0.62 when she came back. But if we can get a score above 0.45, the risk of macular degeneration drops precipitously. I'm thrilled 
and that's all that matters to me. There are bookshelves full of titles Margie has yet to read, and she's just hoping a supplement a day will help her continue to take all those literary journeys. I am really want to just keep the quality of life that I can as long as possible as I age.